Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to easily get gold on the knife in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I'll be showing you guys my best classes for it, giving some useful tips for doing the camo challenges, and telling you what mode is best for this. We'll start in multiplayer, then we'll get into zombies. So first up, I highly recommend doing the knife while a Nuketown 24-7 playlist is up, like I did. This is by far the easiest way. Make sure you flank and sneak into the enemy side's building to come up behind them as much as possible. This is the typical playstyle for using the knife, being quick and stealthy. This alone will get you your kills, backstabber medals, and finishing moves. Using stuns is the absolute best for the knife, but we'll get more into that during the class setups. The injured kills aren't bad, just rush people and stab them after taking a bit of damage. It even works if you Molotov near yourself to take some damage before knifing someone. Next up was the slide kill. Sneaking up behind people still made this easy. Just slide up to every single person, even if you're just from behind them. And yet again, the stuns are your best friend. This goes hand in hand with getting the stun kills as well, obviously, which also goes great for the double kills. I think you get the idea. Stun grenades and nuketown are your new best friend for getting the knife gold. Psst, also, feel free to go negative for a few games to get worse lobbies. Now getting into the class setups, when I needed to stun people the most, I ran this class here. The Danger Close Wild card to get an extra stun, Tac Mask to protect me from them, Quartermaster to recharge my stuns, and Ghost to stay off the map. My second class, which I pretty much used up until the stuns point, is just one stun with the Perk Greed Wild card. For perks, I ran Flak Jacket and Tac Mask for protection. Quartermaster again, Tracker to follow my enemies, Ghost again, and Cold Blooded because Nuketown usually has a lot of streaks up, but feel free to exchange that for Ninja if streaks aren't much of an issue for you. Outside of that, the knife is actually a lot of fun to use, and I found that with good movement, I was a lot of the time more successful with a knife than other weapons, surprisingly, at least on Nuketown. Anyways, with all that said, let's now touch into zombies. For zombies, ensure you are obviously pack-a-punching the knife as much as you can and upgrading the rarity at the armor station. Quick Revive is a great perk for using the knife because you can heal faster, but I recommend all of them, obviously. The kills challenges are easy, and the stun one is too, if you just get some stuns, usually dropped by zombies, and round up a horde, and then stun them, and you can start going ham. You can also pair this with the Ring of Fire or Aether Shroud to get that challenge done as well. Speaking of the Ring of Fire, this will make your knife amazing on the elite bosses. I recommend trying that as well. The 10 kills rapidly camos aren't bad, especially if the zombies are distracted by monkeys or just stunned. Lastly was the consecutive kills without getting hit. This will be easier to do early on, but I mean if you know some glitch spots that would help, that's probably your best bet. Anyways guys, that was my gold gun guide for the knife in Black Ops Cold War. If you enjoyed or found something useful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.